Hi, this is Rudy Rogers, the Urban Aboriginal, and in this video I'm going to show you how to make a pair of buckskin mittens that are lined with rabbit fur. And these are a pair that I just made for my daughter. And uh, I'm going to show you how to make a pattern from scratch using your own hand or you know someone else that you're making the uh, mittens for. If you're doing this for a gift, then you probably want to find somebody um, who's not going to tell. Uh, that has the same size hands or hands as your target. So um, we're going to walk through the whole process. You don't necessarily have to use fur. You don't necessarily have to use buckskin. Your liner can be, uh, it can be knitted, it can be woven, it can be felted uh, as, the, as, it, as the same for your, uh, your outer shell. But in this video, the, this is gonna be a uh, brain tan outer uh, shell and a fur liner. Okay, here's a close up of the finished pieces here. And again, I added some beaded embellishments. I'm not going to cover this uh, in this video. I'm not very good at beading. There's plenty of resources out there nowadays uh, to learn how to do this properly and correctly. Um, I'm just, just doing this for fun and just kind of playing around. Uh, the one thing that I will add is that I created um, some little uh, a bone eyelets here that are connected via um, this is actual buckskin cordage and this is to thread through the sleeves so that uh, my daughter doesn't lose these and you know when you put this much time and energy into making something like this you know you don't want to just leave them on the bus or on the playground or wherever um, you definitely want to create something to where you can keep hold to them so we're gonna um, talk about uh, the tools and the materials that we're going to need and then we're going to get started Okay, the tools and materials that you're going to need primarily, primarily for this specific uh, type of mitten is um, some rabbit pelts, and uh, these are not harvested by myself. I actually went to the Tandy Leather Store and purchased a bunch that have been um, commercially tanned. Uh, of course, you can use your own uh, harvested and tanned uh, hides, uh, raccoon, coyote, uh, rabbit, you know, marmot, I'm sure, whatever. I just would avoid porcupine. porcupine. Um, the next thing that you will need is um, buckskin or for your outer and this is um, brain tan buckskin that I have and uh, as a loose measurement for my size hand but even though I'm making these for my daughter I will need less but for my the, the amount that you'll need basically would be my for my forearm to the tip kind of square and that should give me roughly about what I need to make a, uh, a pair for the outer the fur will be for the inner of the lining. So you'll need your uh, your buckskin and then a paper bag. I like using paper bags for making patterns because um, the paper bags are durable and they're abundant uh, and they're cheap. Uh, tissue paper and commercial patterns are flimsy and weak and they're hard to keep track of. Um, they can deteriorate and rip and things like that. If you can make a pattern out of the uh, paper, the newspaper would work too, but there's too much ink on there. Um, but they would work in a pinch. Uh, I prefer the brown paper bags. And what I do is I find that, I, you know, these here have the handles. I, I, I gently rip the handles off, and then I find the seam in the paper bag, and I just pull the seam apart, and then just kind of break down the bottom, and I get a nice big flat piece that I can then make a pattern out of. I can keep the pattern for future uh, projects so that I don't have to worry about making one each time and because of the durability of the paper bag it allows it, it keeps for a while. So you'll need a paper bag. Um, you will need also uh, some needle and thread. I'm using an, an S uh, needle um, that's kind of a leather for, designed for leather working and this is a spool of artificial sinew or wax to nylon. Traditionally, this would have been a bone needle which you would need a an awl, which is a tool that pokes through the leather, and uh, they would use sinew, uh, which is the tendon of uh, usually of a uh, cloven hooved animal, uh, bovine animal, some sort like a deer, or caribou, reindeer, something like that. Uh, however, I don't have an abundance of that around here and that would be quite expensive to use for a project on mass to, to make because they're kind of it's kind of hard to come by if it's not hard to come by it's labor intensive so 
I'm going to be using artificial sinew for this project and I tend to use this for most of my projects although I can and do and have sewn with sinew so you'll need some some sewing uh, supplies so you'll have your spool needle uh, a pair of kitchen shears or cutting shears or leather cutting shears kitchen utility shears work pretty good uh, a marker or a sharpie an exacto blade uh, traditionally along with these two cutting tools you could use um, you know a, a stone tools like obsidian which is very sharp um, it just takes you longer that's all and you have to be a little bit more careful and what also helps is a um, other writing utensil like uh, a pen or uh, a pencil now graphite when working with buckskin I prefer uh, even chalk is better because graphite and chalk will rub out uh, over time marker and pen are permanent I'm using the pen because I will be working on the opposite side mostly of the buckskin and so it won't be seen and for the sake of this video but I highly recommend that you use pencil or chalk when you're working on your leather so to recap to make a pair of buckskin mittens you'll need uh, some tan fur real or synthetic doesn't matter uh, buckskin or leather or even synthetic material that of your choosing uh, some sewing supplies I was you know uh, some leather thread and a leather needle a pair of scissors a utility blade marker and a pen or a pencil I highly suggest a pencil